This is your total body strength building HIIT workout. I'm Action Jacqueline. You don't need any equipment at all. We are going to strengthen every muscle in your body. So get ready. No equipment is necessary. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And let's get straight into our workout. All right, we're gonna start with our legs nice and wide and we're gonna go down into a squat and then up into a heel lift. So I'm gonna show you the moves in our rest period, and then you'll join me right when that buzzer goes, okay? So we're going squat to lift. We're doing every exercise for 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're not gonna repeat anything, so give it your all in every exercise, okay? We're gonna build strength, build lean muscles. It's gonna feel really good. It's gonna be one of those workouts I have a feeling you're gonna come back to again and again so you can continue to build up that strength in your amazing body. All right, we're gonna do a squat and then we're gonna hold the squat heel lift down and up. Squat, heel lift and up, all right? Let's go. So we're moving slow and steady. Gives you a chance to really focus on your form. Engage as many muscles as you can. So think about the quads, the hamstrings, the outer glutes, think about the abs right here, keeping the breath nice and steady all the way through. All right, we're gonna go into lunges. So I'm gonna step my right leg back. I'm gonna pull the knee all the way up and towards my chest. Pull the abs in, nice long spine. Here we go, back and up. Think about driving down through your left heel. So really drive into the left heel, feel all toes on the floor. You notice I'm barefoot. I love working out barefoot because it really strengthens your ankles, your feet, and provides a true foundation for your body instead of those big clunky shoes that really don't mo do much for your body except probably make you weaker. do pulses now so hold that lunge here and you're gonna pulse it out just like that okay I want to take a little break too and let's go so you're trying to get as deep as you can have a slight pitch forward here in the hips okay so you're not back here like this you're a little bit forward like that feel the toes balancing your body and stay as low as you can for as long as you can you've got this burn comes just know that the burn is temporary that means you're getting stronger right here keep it up keep it up keep going okay so we're gonna lunge and then we're gonna lift off so a little fly so lunge to fly just like that okay think about pointing the toe behind you nice long line let's go so lunge point the toe lift I want you to engage that back quad, lunge, and lift. Beautiful. Slow and steady. Working on your balance, strength, stability. All great things that are going to carry into your life in every possible way.
and rest. Okay, we're gonna do those three exercises on the other side. Shake it out. You're doing awesome. Remember to keep those thoughts really positive. Feeling good in your body. Let's go. Down and up. Having a sense of gratitude right now. Even in those moments of the burn, which is the most challenging time to feel grateful. But if you can do that here on your mat, you're gonna be able to do it outside as well. Good, keep it going. great let the burn come in enjoy the bird because you can do hard things I know you can let's go pulse it out right here One more right here, you've got this. Go. Point the toe and engage the quad and then I engage my glute up here at the top to make sure that I'm working it up there. And I pitch my chest just slightly forward, abs are in, and continue to balance through that bottom heel and big toe. come down onto our knees and hands. You're gonna take your leg to the side and you're gonna lift it up, cross it behind you at the diagonal, back up and around to the side. Here we go. So on this one, I want you to really focus on not letting the upper body move too much. So you gotta really keep the arms solid and use the core a lot to stabilize the top part of your body. All right? And then try not to lean too much into that right hip. Stay square in the hips as well. You don't have to take the leg as high. You can take it a little bit lower if you need to. Stay on the same leg. You're gonna take it out to the side and just lift, lower, lift, lower. Lots of core, lots of booty, lots of shoulder. So a great full body exercise right here. So lift, lower, lift, lower. Again, make sure you're not pushing into the hip. So pretend like there's a wall next to you and you can't push over, all right? Stay square. You've got it, you're doing amazing.
both those exercises on the other side. Enjoy this quick little break. Take a deep breath and set yourself up. Let's go. Shake out those wrists if you need to. Quick little recovery. Let's get right back into it. Let's go. Watch out for your form. Make sure you're not starting to dip too much into the shoulders. Keep those arms square. And if that means that the leg doesn't go up as high, that's okay. It's better to keep the leg a little bit lower and the upper body nice and solid and strong. high plank shoulder tap. So legs are about shoulder width apart and you're gonna tap your shoulders. Modify on your knees right here, okay? So choose which one you're gonna do, let's go. The goal here is to not let the hips waver too much. My hips always like to go really crazy. So I always have to remind myself to keep them really solid. And if that means slowing down your tempo a bit, that's good. We wanna slow it down, get your form correct, and then you can speed up. Next one, we're gonna go into a three-legged dog, and then you're gonna pull the knee all the way up, try to touch your armpit, and then back again, okay? Here we go. Nice and slow and steady. I want you to think about pressing through your first finger and thumb, all the way pressing flat into the hands. I know a lot of people don't talk about that, but it's so important to really ground down through every single finger pad, and that'll really help you build the foundation from the bottom up. muscle. All right, remember to keep those thoughts positive, feeling grateful for our workout together, feeling grateful that you get to have this time. It truly is a luxury, right, to be able to take care of your body. So I'm really proud of you that you're here, you're showing up, and continue to let those positive thoughts circulate through your mind and body. Next 
next one we're gonna do a push up into a, a twist lift. So if you need to, just put the knees down right here. Just put them down and then you can twist up. All right, let's go. You can put the knees down on the push up and you can also leave them down here for the twist. Or you can do a little combo where the knees stay down then maybe try for the feet. All right, always continuing to challenge yourself, build up progress. bicycle twist, all right? So elbow is gonna come to the knee, shoot the other leg out, and let's go. Squat all the way down, hands behind the head. Elbow drives up into the knee. Continue to work those obliques and the legs. Whew. Total body right here. I know you're feeling it. And this is where you really gotta plug in and commit. And you just say, I'm finishing out this workout. Even if you gotta take a little breaks here and there. All right, because every time you come back, you're gonna be able to go longer and stronger. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya Let's come down to the ground. We're gonna go into a side plank. We're just gonna hold, modify here on the knees, all right? Otherwise, if you're ready to take it up a notch, join me here on the feet. Make sure you're on the edge of your feet. So I'm really flexing my toes so I have that nice support. Pull up through the abs, keep the hips up high. Push out of the shoulder, so you're not sinking here. Push out of the shoulder, press into the elbow. Okay, I know it's a lot to think about, but that's why we're continually doing these exercises every time. You're gonna come back and work on something a little bit different and progress every time. You made me fall without saying a sentence. Okay, we're gonna go right back into that. We're gonna crunch elbow to knee, okay? It's challenging, that's what it's for, to make us stronger, right? So keep pressing into that elbow, Woo. crunch and lengthen, crunch and lengthen. Take a break when you need it. Or you can do this on your knees as well. Same thing right here on the knees, works really well too, okay? Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh. Let's go, let's go, almost there. So close. Two, one. Oh. Okay, 
That was tough. So we've got the other side to do. Catch your breath. Let's do this. So this one's just the hold. Make sure the hip isn't opening up. Make sure the hip is nice and square and stacked. You're doing amazing. All right, no matter where you're at, you're doing awesome. Focusing on you, your breath, being here, being in the present moment, nothing better. Take a short little breath. Whew. Make sure you really take a deep breath. Get yourself ready and let's go. Switch it up. Let's come onto our backs. We're gonna go into a single leg bridge, pull the knee in and out. So you're gonna pull in and out. In and out. Really dig into that left heel. Pull that knee in, try to drive through the heel and really push the hips up, okay? Especially as you start to get tired at the end. Let's switch sides. plank walk back to stand okay nice little kind of active recovery stretch all those good things so you're gonna walk it out to a high plank and then walk it right back have a little soft bend in the knees as you come back up okay let's go Alright, 
come on down. We're gonna come into a reverse plank here and you're just gonna tap hand to foot, alternating just like that, all right? Make sure fingertips are forward. I want you to push out of the shoulder just a bit as you come up, okay? So push out of the shoulder, use that tricep. It's almost like a little hidden tricep press and shoulder press. Good. If we didn't work our triceps enough, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna swing through here, come all the way up, press, and then back again, okay? If you can't make it all the way through, just slide back and then slide right back up, okay? You'll get there one day, I promise. Let's go. Let's finish it out. And we've got two more ab exercises left. Oh, okay, come onto your back. Here we go. We're gonna lower the legs down and then you're gonna do a little hip lift, a little hip thrust like that, okay? Last two exercises and up. So I place my hands underneath my hips to give myself a little extra support here. Make sure you're pressing the lower belly button into the spine and you're still breathing. one here we're gonna do dead bugs so you're gonna just extend opposite arm and leg and switch good I love this one because it really does challenge those low abs a lot Woo. so keep those knees right over your hips make sure the knees don't come in towards your chest okay keep that chin and chest up it's gonna really work those neck muscles, which helps your posture. So if they're burning, that's good. challenging. I'm so proud of you. Great work and I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're going to find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days 
After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below, join me now. I'll see you inside, bye.